how to understand that he loves you. Lots of girls are googling the answer to this question every single day. And you might wonder, why can't we all just go and ask them? Well, because the male affection is really not that simple. Sometimes even he himself can't realize that he is actually already in love. There might be few reasons to that. And one of them is social pressure. Think about it. When we girls go and tell our circle that we are in love, everybody is happy for us. They congratulate us. But when the same happens for a guy, well, it's often perceived as something negative. So it's harder for them to be open about it. Today we are going to talk about 10 signs that will tell us that he is indeed in love. We are not going to discuss such signs as he maintains eye contact with you because it's BS. We are going to talk about his behavior and the way he treats you. Even if you are in a relationship for some time now, this video will be very useful because it will help you to see his behavior objectively. By the way, I'm Alona, female coach and author of this female empowering blog. Let's get started. Sign number one, he will never intentionally hurt you. And the word intentionally is necessary here because it's not always possible to predict if the person will be hurt from your actions. Of course, there are obvious things like being rude, neglecting your feelings, invalidating your emotions, but there are things he's just not aware of. In this case, the problem is when he continues doing something, even though he knows it hurts you. Example from personal life. My husband used to joke about the married man in such a way. For example, he meets somebody and he asks them, oh, are you married already? The person says no, and my husband goes, oh, that's why you're smiling. And I feel like this joke is abusive to say for a married man, especially in front of his wife. But my husband was not aware of it. Ever since I told him, he never said it ever again. So here is how it works for a loving man. It's enough to hear one time that something is not okay for you to never do it again. And if it's not enough for him, if he continues doing it again and again, that means only one thing. He has no regard for your feelings. Sign number two, he cares about you and your well-being. Girls, please do not confuse this with control. Some guys control their partners to such points that you will need to ask him permission to go hang out with your friends. And they say, it's because of you, because I care for you, because it's not safe to go out or something like that. No, it's not because of that. It's because he wants to control you. Why? Because he didn't care about your feelings. He didn't ask what you feel about it. Real care is not suffocating. Compare this. He tells you, you stay at home tonight. It's not safe, which is an order. Or he asks you, do you prefer to stay at home tonight? Shall I order takeaway? This is care when he offers it to you and he takes into consideration your feelings. Sign number three, he respects you and your values. This is a very important point because affection, especially male affection, does not mean respect. If he calls you only when he needs you, when he wants to see you and hang out and goes completely silent and disappears when you need him, there is no respect for you. Respect is when he doesn't allow himself to make abusive jokes about you, when he values your time, when he has regard for your feelings, when he treats you as a lady in all kinds of ways. Regarding your values, this is one of the things that girls often let slide, that they didn't even notice. Because it's easier to notice when he has no respect for you as a person, this is more obvious, than to notice that he has no regard for your values. For example, your value is that your boyfriend must introduce you to his family. But instead, he comes up with ridiculous excuses and never does it. He just neglected your values. Or the girl has a value that she doesn't want to live together with a man unless they are married. This is my value, for example. But instead of respecting it, he's pushing and coming up with reasons and basically makes her move in with him. When someone is going against our values, it makes us feel lesser, less important, less valuable. And the loving man will never make you feel that way. Number four, he celebrates you and your strong sides and doesn't point out your flaws. Let's be clear here. It doesn't mean that you and your partner must always lie to each other, that you cannot help each other see your shortcomings. Also, it doesn't mean that you should see each other through rose-tinted glasses. But when you love somebody, you want them to feel good about themselves. You uplift them. You notice their strong sides even when they themselves don't notice them. You don't want to drag them down. Unfortunately, what I've seen a lot in my life and in my coaching practice is when the man sees a woman only as a function. Imagine yourself what kind of function most often. And then he doesn't see anything good about her, but he is looking very hard to find all of her flaws. And guess what? He wouldn't even pause before bringing it up, even in front of other people. You know, there is this very popular question that I see everywhere on the internet. 
How to tell my partner that she's been gaining weight? I will tell you the answer to this question. You don't. If you have this question on your mind, there is no love between you. She's just a function that can be upgraded or replaced. She is not a human being that you truly care about. Personal example, I'm opening up so much today. Once I've been dating a guy and at that time I was very, very skinny and he was showering me with compliments about it. And once he even went so far as to say, you must figure out how to maintain this shape always. And I thought to myself at that moment, this is not a man for me. Even though he didn't say anything negative, but he saw me as a function. The way he saw me would always depend on, on the way I look. Sign number five, he dedicates his time to you and he does it happily. I'm sure you've seen this kind of relationships when she sees him once every two weeks and then he goes completely silent, disappears, becomes unreachable. What does it tell us about this relationship? That he takes what he wants when he needs or wants it. And the rest of the time, well, you are not his priority. When a man is in love, he wants to be around you, period. Not job, not family, not friends, not problems. Nothing will keep him away. Time is the most valuable asset that any human being has. Think about it. Would you waste your time on someone you don't care about, unless it's your boss, of course. A guy who spends his weekends with his friends and cuts out for you an hour during the week is not in love, not even on the way there. Don't listen to his explanations. Don't be delusional about it. Sign number six. He includes you in his future plans. Whenever there is discussion about future, there must be us instead of just him. Of course, if it's first stages of the relationship, maybe he won't be talking to you about how you will name your future kids but he will consider you in his future plans. For example, he tells you that he and his friends planned a trip together next summer and he is asking you, what about your plans, what you will be doing? So he considers you, it might be as little as that at this point. This shows that in his head this relationship is not temporary. We don't know what will happen, but he assumes it will continue. And if you are in a relationship for some time now and he still doesn't include you in his future plans, well, this is a major red flag. He tells you, next summer we planned a vacation together with boys. And you have to ask him, well, what about me? And he goes, your choice? This is not a relationship. This is just hanging out with each other from time to time. Sign number seven. You feel comfortable and safe next to him. A relationship with a loving man shall not look like a roller coaster. Because what every woman needs most from a relationship especially is safety. First of all, he must be emotionally safe. He doesn't blow up. He doesn't neglect your feelings. He is there when you want to share. You know that you can always be open with this person. If you don't like something, you can bring it up without being afraid that he will blow up, that he will become defensive. He is always ready to listen. He is a reliable person. This is part of safety as well. You can trust him. You can rely on him. You know that if you need him, he will be there. He is always there to support you. Also, it is physically safe to be next to him. I'm not talking about physical abuse. It's a given. But he will Will not put you at risk in any other way. And yes, he is your financial safety too. No matter how much money he makes, he will never leave you alone, especially if you're in trouble. Of course, this doesn't mean that he has to fund you from the very first date, but he is there for you. You are not alone. Sign number eight, he gives you clarity. A loving man will never put you in a position when you have to ask him that question. Who are we to each other? Guys hate this question, but what they don't realize is that if they were open in the first place, we would not have to ask. Clarity for a woman is also a matter of safety. You need to know where this relationship is going and what is his plan about your couple. I hate it when guys refuse to give clarity in a relationship. It can happen because of two reasons. First, he didn't care enough to think it through, so he doesn't even have clarity himself. Or second, he's hiding the truth from you, that he's not serious about you. You know this. We are having so much fun. Why put a label on this? Guys, stop saying this. I will tell you why you shall put a label on it. Because what you want from this relationship and what your partner wants from this relationship might be two completely different things. And by refusing to announce the truth, you're simply robbing the other person of his or her precious time. It is especially cruel to a woman. It's awful for us to waste a few years on a dead-end relationship that's not going anywhere, especially when we want to settle, when fun is not enough anymore. So yes, a loving man will not keep you in the dark. Sign number nine. He is proud of you and he doesn't hide you. Remember we were talking about your values, that if it's your value to be presented to his family, for example, then he must respect it. 
But also, if he truly loves you, it is his honest desire to introduce you to everybody he knows. It's like having a social contract. He's telling everybody, look, this is my partner, we are together, we are in a relationship. And if he is afraid to announce this, he is afraid of a commitment. It's like having all the benefits of having a relationship without actually having to invest anything into the relationship. A man in love is not afraid to commit. He is not afraid to invest his time, energy, efforts, reputation, money, anything into your couple. So if you are together for some time and he still doesn't want to introduce you to his circle, he is either ashamed for some reason or he doesn't want to commit. In both cases, consider this a major red flag. And sign number 10, he always keeps his promises. Sticking to one's word for a man is a question of his masculinity. They break their promises only if they don't value or respect enough the person to whom this promise was given. When a man in love gives a promise to his woman to be somewhere to do something, it's his priority. He cannot simply forget about it. There is nothing more important than to keep this promise. Why? Because the way you see him matters to him above anything else. He cannot bear disappointing you. If a man does not keep his promises and he does it again and again, he is either immature or he doesn't value you enough. In both cases, it's a bad idea to invest your time into building a relationship with him. Thank you for watching this video and before we are done for today, I have an important announcement to make. There is an important update to this channel. Every Friday there will be a video coming out where you can ask me any of your questions, of course related to self-development or relationships or difficult situations or whatever you need an advice on. You have a chance to ask this question by joining the Telegram channel and the link will be in the description to this video or you can simply comment under this video and this Friday I will try to answer as many questions as I can. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!